Hi, my name is Ali, and I'm a business owner client and marketing professional. In my career spanning over a decade, I've worked with a variety of businesses in several industries in Nigeria and abroad. Since I work with more creating businesses these days, I decided to shoot a 10 part series focusing on the fashion industry to help meet your business goals. Don't forget to follow me so you don't miss any of these tips. Let's jump right into the first part of this video, which is defining your brand identity. Before proceeding any further, please watch this short video. Nigerians mistake heart and soul for couture. Couture is a very expensive process which very few people can afford. A label doesn't make a brand. A tag doesn't make a brand. This brand is not one worth 144 million naira at this point in time today. But you, you can build it into that. But you have to define the process in which you will follow and restrict with yourself because passion is a business. In this video, you just heard from Adini Kelgulesi. She's the founder and chief responsibility officer at Rohan Tombo, which is a great brand and the one to learn from in terms of building a brand in the fashion industry. I feel the question of having a brand uh, goes beyond just having a logo or having a name for a business and then start making things. Um, to stand out, you need to have a clear vision and a message, and that is what was captured in this video. What are you uh, categorized as in the industry? Who do you service? So you need to start by first understanding um, your target audience and what sets your brand apart. And you can do this by exploring various market niches. You need to also understand what segments of the industry you're targeting and then build your brand accordingly. So the brand ordinarily can be simply defined as the soul of the business. Who are you targeting? What products are you creating? And um, who's your target market really? And while you're doing your research, you need to figure out what your brand is worth what it will cost you to grow that brand and how you can maximize your investment. For example, say you are working in the underwear industry or you decided to specialize in creating underwear or loungewear, for example. The underwear industry globally is worth about 89 billion US dollars. So imagine how large that market is. If you're able to be unique enough to build a brand that stands out, how you can tap into that industry, even starting from here in Africa, and then exploring the diaspora to see how you can grow that business. But you need to be specialized and you need to be focused on developing a brand first before it can gain the momentum to um, get you to meet your business goals. So how do you tap into an industry as large as this? You need to build momentum and you need to set realistic goals. Do your research, like I said, keep doing that research, explore market trends and see how you can pivot where necessary to ensure that you are still relevant within the market you are operating in. A word of caution here, please do not compromise on your brand when you've already gained some momentum. Do not start doing what the next guy is doing in terms of marketing or trying to change things to suit what social media is doing or what everybody's, what's trending or what have you. Try to stick to what works and what, um, what feeds the brand to keep it growing and um, you'll be seeing more progress. Depending on the brand model we are adopting, um, you need to explore other similar brands um, that are exactly or almost exactly like yours. Not necessarily looking at just the fashion industry in general. There are certain group models or there are certain business models that work for specific kinds of businesses like the couture or the ready to wear. Um, uh, depends, really. Uh, so you have to figure out what works for your brand and be very narrow in terms of who you're looking at as a competitor. Not everybody does what you do, so stick to what works for your niche specifically. Many fashion entrepreneurs have complained about the lack of practical knowledge or practical understanding of what uh, building a brand is all about, which is why you find yourself not really um, understanding what you should put in place when pitching for funding or trying to expand. So we put together a masterclass to help you explore some of these uh, challenges that you might have and then find solutions to them in a interactive and um, very practical format. So check the link in my bio or um, the link below this video to access this information. You need to join the WhatsApp group that we have. We are building a community of uh, thriving businesses and we want you to not miss out on this opportunity. So the links are available and um, I'm looking forward to engaging with you. Have a great day. Watch out for the next video. We'll be covering a lot of points in this.